Today we'll look at how to make seamless patterns in Affinity Designer. You can start with objects like this, and make a pattern like this. The method I'll show you works for any canvas size and requires no math. So I'm here in Affinity Designer with this document I created. Let's place our first image. I'll select File, Place, and I'll choose this rocket here, and I'll place it. Now first thing you want to do is make sure you have Clip to Canvas disabled. If I drag my object off of the canvas, you'll see it doesn't show up. But if I press the backslash key, I can see things off of my canvas. And this is what you want to have enabled. So you can do that with the backslash key, or you can choose the option View, View Mode, Clip to Canvas. Make sure it's unchecked. So let me click this button. And now I can see my object when it's off the canvas. Now also make sure you have snapping turned on. That's this magnet up here, so I have it selected. So to make a seamless pattern, our object needs to go off the canvas on one side and come back on the other side. Let's look at how we can do that. Now the first thing I'm going to do with my shape selected is align it to the left inside edge here. You can see I have that green line that tells me it's aligned, so that's good. Now I'm going to hold Alt and drag it, and this is going to make a copy. And now I'm going to align it to this outside edge on the other side. So again, you can see I have that green line there, and I'm going to let go. Now the final step to make sure they match up is to select them both, and to align them in the middle here. So I'll click this button, and now they're perfectly aligned. And now what I can do is move the objects along this edge and it will be a seamless pattern. Now just make sure you don't cross the corners yet, or the top and bottom. I'll show you how to deal with that later. Now we have a very important step, and that is to test that our pattern actually works. So we'll do that by exporting it and making sure it is seamless. So I'll select File, Export. I recommend exporting as a PNG. I'll click Export, and let's call it Test 1. Now I'm going to create a new document. I'll say File, New. It can be basically any size, doesn't really matter. And I'm going to draw a rectangle in this document. So I'll select my Rectangle tool, and I'll click and drag. Now we're going to fill this with our image. We can select the Gradient tool here, and under Type, click this, select Bitmap. And now we can choose our file. So I'll click Test01, I'll click Open, and now we have the option of placing our bitmap in the rectangle. And I can click and drag to change the scale here. And the scale doesn't matter too much, but you want to make sure that you can see a few repetitions. So let's get it to a decent size here. Now let's zoom in and make sure our pattern works. So I'll look in here, and it seems to be perfectly creating our rocket. If I go back to my original image, you can see that the edge is on this right side here. So let's pay close attention to that. It looks perfect to me. Now let's go across the top and bottom. I'll place another image, File, Place, and let's do this astronaut. Now maybe I want them to be rotated a little bit. So I'll turn it like this. And the process is still the same. I can click and drag, and then I'll align him to this top edge here. Now I can see a red line highlighted there. That means he's connecting on that part. I'll hold Alt and I'll click and drag again. And I'll align him to that inside bottom edge. Now I'll select both these astronauts. Now I want to align them in the center, so I'll click this. And now we can move them freely along this top edge. Again, don't cross the corner. If the snapping tool is annoying you, you can temporarily turn it off. And you can place them exactly where you want them to be. Once again, we should test our pattern. File. Export. Let's call it Test 2. I'll go back to my test document. Now with my rectangle selected, I'll select the Gradient tool again. Then I'll click Bitmap again, and I can choose a new file. So I'll select Test 2. Let's drag them there. And let's check it out. So it looks good to me. Let's do the corners now. Let me place another graphic. I'll place this here. Resize it. Now when you place something on the corners, you want to place it on all four corners in the same way. And I think the easiest way to do this is to just center it on the corner. So if I drag my shape to the corner here, you can see that green and red line are telling me it's perfectly centered. So let's do that again for the other corner. It's centered there, bottom right corner. Make sure you're not centering against some other shape that it is the corner you're centering on. So there we go. And bottom left. So that's centered there. So I'll select the planets here. And we can move it how we want. Maybe I want it to be like that. Let's test again. File, export, test three. And let's place our new image. Let's check out the Earth. And it looks perfect. Now these were PNG images I placed. We can also work with vectors. I'll create a star. I'll find the star here. Just drag that. Make it yellow. And I can place it up here. So I can see it aligning there. Let's do another one. Align it here. I see the red line. Remember to align them in the middle. And let's move them. You don't have to test after every change, but you should definitely test every once in a while, and absolutely test before you finalize your artwork. And of course, you can put things in the middle of your canvas here. I'll place an alien, 
We'll place the shooting star. And for things like this, you don't have to repeat them if they're not going off the edge. Just remember that if you ever want to move something, you have to select both of them and move them together. You can also put a colored background if you like with a rectangle. As long as it's solid, you don't have to worry about aligning it too much as long as it covers your whole image. If it's something like a gradient, then you'll have an issue. And here we have our final result. If there's any topics you want to see a video for, let me know down in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.